One is love, the other is money, and this show has both of those things here today. We have a lot of people who have been unlucky in love in our audience here who have come down to play a game where they can find a fabulous date. But that's not all. They could be trading that date in for wonderful prizes. In fact, so many prizes that their cumulative amount is worth over $5,000. <laughs> It's a health club membership. But the top prize of the day, one of our lucky guests, if they pick the winning box, will be off on a four-day all-inclusive vacation to the Bahamas, courtesy of Super Club Breezes Bahamas. They'll be able to lie back and relax on a thousand feet of Nassau's sugar white cable beach. They'll be worry-free because everything, and I mean everything you can think of, is included in Super Club's all-inclusive resort. It's a prize package worth $1,600. And somebody here today may win that prize or they may find true love because they've come here today to play Deal or Date! I have two lovely ladies helping to assist me today on this very special Richard Bay Show. Give a big welcome to our spokesmodel, Penthouse Pets, Pet of the Century, Lori Wagner. And also here to assist me is a former model, lovely Dawn. Please step on down here, Dawn. You look lovely today. Thank you for helping me out here today. No, you'll be able to hold this, Dawn. Stand right here. Okay, there are people in our audience who have come here today because they've been unlucky in love. Well, you know what they say, if you're unlucky in love, you're lucky in other things. Sometimes, Elizabeth, come on down! Elizabeth is brokenhearted because she recently broke up with her boyfriend of three years. She has a degree in psychology and is a bilingual receptionist. Now, let's meet Ida. Ida, get on down here. She's had three serious relationships, but she's never married. It's been two long years since her last date. Welcome, Nicole. Nicole, step on it. Here she comes. She's had at least four long-term relationships that ended badly. She's ready for a happy ending. Give them all a big round of applause, please. Okay, we've got to decide, though. Who's going to get the first pick? All of you have been in unlucky in love at some time in your life. But you could be lucky at this moment if you can give me the answer to this question. Now, when you hear this thing, the time is up. When you hear that buzzer, the time is up. Here's the question. And the, all these questions have to do with current events. Why did Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley break up? Time's up. Oh, you didn't have an answer. Why did Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley break up? She wanted children, and so did he. All right, that's our question for the day. Unfortunately, none of you answered that question during the allotted time. Let's bring out our three bachelors. Bachelor number one is a handsome 25-year-old Dino, a college student who's studying medicine. 31-year-old Malik is a management consultant who broke up with his girlfriend eight months ago. And 22-year-old Keith is an actor you may recognize because he's appeared on Central Park West. His last long relationship ended in 1991. He hasn't found a good woman since. Well, these women are very good, gentlemen. And I'm going to give them a chance to pick which one. You have the first pick. Which one would you pick? I have the first pick. Uh, number three. Number three. Uh, can I take a box? No, no. Oh, okay. okay. Not yet. Number not two. Yet. <laughs> number two. We know where your mind's at. <laughs> number three, number two, and? I guess I got one. You got one, but wait a second. Not all of you get to play this game because behind their backs and pulling them right now are three jacks in the box, except they look like jack in the boxes. They are not. One of them is a bay in the box. The one that comes out a bay in the box, if that's your man, you get to play the game. You get to win the date and possibly trade him in for a prize. All right, gentlemen, crank up those boxes, if you will. One of them is a bay in the box. Which one will it be? Who will be our lucky winner? <laughs> oh, we see already who it is. Keep cranking, guys. 
Number three, Keith, our actor for, from Central Park West. You picked three, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, step on up there. You get to play Deal or Date. Thank you, gentlemen. We will be seeing you later on in the show. All right, you two guys, they look like a beautiful couple, don't they, audience? You're pretty happy with this, right? Yeah, it was my choice. But you also get to go on this date. You and your new date are off on a fabulous dinner cruise around Manhattan. All this courtesy of World Yacht Cruises. Good luck and enjoy. All right. Fabulous date, fabulous man. But the show is called Deal or Date. You have a chance to make a deal. You could trade in this gorgeous hunk of a man and that World Yacht Cruise for any of the boxes you see on our stage. Fabulous prizes are all around you, and one of those prizes is a trip to the Bahamas, all-inclusive. What do you want? What, what should she take? The deal or the date? It's not their decision. What's it gonna be, the deal or the date? The deal! The deal! Sorry, my good man. We'll probably see you later on in the show, though. Which one of these boxes do you want? Go ahead. There's 25. What do you think? Pick one. You've got to pick one. Go ahead. Pick a box. Any box. Which one? 25 is the box that you pick. Okay, you just stand right over there at the microphone, please, while we look in box 25 and see what we have here. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, well you're not going to be hungry. I heard that last night. Um, Yummy! You had this last night? Are you sure you had the roast beef dinner with the mashed potatoes? No, I don't think I had the roast beef. But wait a second, this, it, it, to be fair to you, this is not the complete prize. It is a clue that may lead you, this, this, this may lead you to a dinner in a nice restaurant, or huh? possibly, it could lead to something else. Maybe this is, uh, maybe this is what they're going to serve you in the Bahamas. I don't know. You know, do you want to keep this elegant meal, or do you want to pick what is behind that red curtain, or do you want to pick what is behind those sliding doors, or do you want to keep this elegant meal and hope that it will lead you somewhere else? I don't know. This, this is, it's cold. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Do you want the meal, or do you want what's behind the curtain? Behind the curtain. You want what's behind the curtain or behind the sliding doors? Oh. Wait a second. Sliding doors. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Folks, folks, folks. Before we go behind the sliding doors, let me just tell you what you passed up. That was a TV dinner, all right, but it was an airline meal. It's what you would have won. If you'd picked that, you would have won a round-trip airline ticket to anywhere in the continental United States for oh, $600! Oh. Oh, sweetie. Oh. I tried to tell you. I tried to warn you. That's not all it is. But wait a second. Things aren't that bad. You passed up a gorgeous hunk of a man and a wonderful romantic cruise around Manhattan. You passed up airline tickets for two anywhere in the United States. Oh, my God. But you still have what's behind the door. Okay. It's not that bad, right? No, it's not Step right up. <laughs> Step right up there because behind that elevator door, you've got a date with a hero. A real hero. Yeah? A real hero. Let's open those doors and introduce her to her hero. It's a six-foot hero sandwich worth $65. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It smells good, and it's six foot, and it's a hero, and it's all yours. But before we go to break, I'm going to give somebody in the chance, somebody in this audience, a chance to win some real money. Who can blow a bubble for me the quickest? Do you have gum on you? Put it in your mouth and blow it. I want to see a bubble somewhere. I want to see the bubble. No, I got to see the bubble. Go ahead. First person who shows me a bubble. I got a bubble over here. That's not a bubble gum. Bubble. I need a bubble. Let me see the bubble. Who has gum? Well, blow the bubble, will you? All right. You got the gun in. Now, chew it. Blow the bubble. Get that bubble going. I don't see a bubble yet. Anybody else have a bubble? Come on, a bubble. A bubble. Let's go. Concentrate. Come on, go ahead. You know how to blow a bubble? 
Yeah, go ahead. She's almost there. She's almost there. Let's see. Oh, the show is only an hour long. Who's got a bubble? I see a bubble. Step on out here. All right. Boy, did you just pop that gum in your mouth and get that bubble up? Sorry, she's still chewing that gum. I have, I have different pockets in this jacket. You're going to be able to put your hand in one of my pockets, either the side pockets up here, pants pockets, or pockets in the back. I have something different in each pocket. Which pocket do you want? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Which one? Right here? Inside pocket right here. What do I have? Oh. 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 It's a hundred dollars! And you've got it for a blow and a bubble! Can't get a better deal than that! But more dates, more deals coming up in just a moment. Don't you go away. will do anything, well, almost anything, for money. But we put those two motivations together on this show as we have people who've come to our studios today to play Deal or Day. People like the gentleman that I'm going to introduce to you right now. Ed, come on down here. He's 30 years old. He's had a few serious relationships, but he's never been married. In fact, he hasn't had a date in two years. It's been two years? Two years. Boy, let's hear it. Oh. Welcome 22-year-old Antonio. He works in his family's construction business. He's a former Chippendale dancer. He's recently out of a three-year relationship. Come on down, Antonio. And 31-year-old Erskine is a very single DJ and sound engineer. He also works at Bloomingdale's as a data entry clerk in their bridal registry. With all he knows about China and Crystal, he's ready for his own bride. Erskine, come on down. All right, these three gentlemen here today to play deal or date. You're really looking for a date after two years, aren't you? I'm looking. You can't tell me you have trouble finding a date. A trouble, I got a lot of trouble. You tell me, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. And you, sir, you, sir, you know all about the bridal register. You're all ready if you meet somebody, you can handle all the gifts for the wedding, right? Everything. Okay, everything. well, we have, you everything? everything? Okay, well, you, what you need is the lady right now. And we have three lovely, <laughs> three lovely ladies backstage. We're gonna bring them out. One of them may be your potential date. Welcome, bachelorette number one, 21-year-old Lori Ann is a secretary at a construction company. She's recently out of a long-term relationship. Then there's number two, who's Dee Dee. Even though she appeared on the cover of the Bachelorette book, she hasn't had a date in three months. Bachelorette number three is Tracy, a clothing designer who owns a modeling agency. Now, can I have Dawn please come on down here and help me with the next part of this program? Because I'm going to ask you a serious political question, one that if you can answer, if you can be the first one to answer it, you will get your first, the first choice to pick one of our lovely bachelorettes. All right, you may remember on MTV, Bill Clinton appeared and made political history when some lady in the audience asked him, does he wear boxers or briefs? Once again, straddling the line and being noncommittal, he said he wears boxers and briefs, but not at the same time. Okay, but Bob Dole, the presidential candidate, does he wear, he's the oldest presidential candidate, does he wear boxers or briefs? <laughs> Time's up. Boxers. Boxers. Boxer. Briefs. Depends. Okay! <laughs> None of you answered that question correctly. So I will give you first choice. Which of our lovely bachelorettes appeals to you the most, sir? I'll take number one. Number one. Okay, who are you going to pick, sir? I'll take two. Two? And you're left with three, I guess. But that's not too yeah. bad, is it? Nah, okay. okay. They have jack-in-the-boxes in front of them, which they will start to crank up. But one of those jack-in-the-boxes does not have a jack inside. It is a bay in the box, and a bay will pop up. Start cranking, ladies. Let's see which one of you. Oh! Lucky man, Erskine! Not only do you get a date, thank you ladies, we'll be seeing you later on in the show. Erskine, lovely lady, right? Yeah, you you know. could have a fabulous you? date with her. But you want to know something even better? We're going to be paying for the date. The two of you will be off to where? 
congratulations. You and your date have been dealt a dinner at Café Wa. Huh? It could be a live salsa band, a rhythm and blues band, or a great comedy act. You never know what you're in for when you go to Café Wa. Oh, right, the Café Wa. Boy, that's been a hot spot for so many years. You could have a date with this lovely lady at the Café Wa, all paid for that evening now. Are you going to take that date, or would you like to trade her in for what's in one of these boxes? And remember, there's a trip to the Bahamas somewhere up here. There's all sorts of fabulous prizes. What? You're going to pick the box I'm instead. Pick the box, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you later on in the okay. show. See you in the fall of the okay. Oh, I know this guy. This is. <laughs> this guy thinks he's so smart. He thinks he's going to pick a great prize, and then he's going to ask her to go with him anyway, right? I know what you're thinking. Okay, thank you. You're a lovely lady, but you pick the box. Which of these lovely boxes would you will you pick? Go ahead. Audience shouting out directions. What do you say, Erskine? What's it going to be? My birthday is my birthday is 23, so I got to pick 23. All right, his birthday is the 23rd. Let's pick box number 23. Where is it? Right down. Oh, you go for the biggest box as well. Thank you, Lori Wagner, penthouse pet of the century. Okay, stand right over there at the microphone, Erskine, and let's see what you picked in here. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. You've won a... A little matchbox car. But, la, 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 la. but uh, is it, uh, you know, maybe that could be... I like red, though. You like red, I know, but you'd, you'd have a hard time squeezing into that seat, I think. But it gets lots of miles to the gallon. But, you know, this could be just a clue that will lead you somewhere else. Maybe there's a car rental rented for you in the Bahamas. Maybe that's the rest of this trip. But on the other hand, you could pick what's behind that red curtain and trade this in. But this could be a fabulous prize as well. So I really don't know what. It could be something really spectacular. Maybe it's a new car. What do you say? Matchbox car or curtain? Matchbox car or curtain? Match You're going to keep the box. He is going to keep the box. You're sure now? I don't. It's my birthday. I can't go wrong. It's your birthday. You can't go wrong. What you've won is Nico's remote controlled car Predator, a high speed performance vehicle with mega power, adjustable rear wing with removable crystal amplifier system for precision reception. It comes with a battery pack and a charger from Nico. A remote controlled car, the total value. $180. Congratulations. Won't take you far, but you'll have lots of time to, to play with that car. But somebody in this audience will have a chance to go through my pockets, to rifle my pockets and see what fabulous prizes or cash could be inside there. If you can show me an out-of-state driver's license that isn't New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut. It's got to be from a different state. Where's it from? Oh, I got one here. Okay. Texas! There it is, folks. All right, let's see, let's see. Would you please stand up, sir? J, uh, J. Christian Jones. All right. Under 21. Oh, uh, yes, all right. Where are you from in Texas? Uh, Houston. <laughs> Houston. What, are you wanted there or what? That's no. why. You... Okay, step on out here. Okay, come here. Come here, step on out here. He's got a Texas license plate, but you're going to be able to go into one of my pockets. They're all filled with something, but some of the things are good and some of the things are not so good. Would you like these pockets no, down here? No, or no. Yes, or these pockets? I'll take this one. I'll take this one. You'll take this one? Yeah. You sure? You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Po I'll give you one last Positive. chance. One last chance. Mm -hmm. Meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Come on out and greet the Mets. You got two tickets to see the New York Mets. All right, congratulations. Unfortunately, you'll be in Houston watching the Astros. Oh, we're gonna take a break. More deals, more dates, more excitement, more chances to win when we return. Stay with us.
date and follow me up here, if you will, just for a moment, because up here you see there are plenty of boxes left. And in some of these boxes are some great prizes, like there are two getaway weekends up here. There's a health club membership. There's a gift certificate to wonderful stores. There's some lingerie, but the really big prize up here, folks, the one that everybody is shooting for, is that all-inclusive vacation to the Bahamas. A four-day all-inclusive vacation to the Bahamas, courtesy of Super Clubs Breezes Bahamas. You'll be able to lie back and relax on 1,000 feet of Nassau Sugar White Table Beach. You'll be worry-free because everything, and I mean everything you can think of is included in Super Club's all-inclusive resort. That's a prize package worth $1,600. Somewhere up there, if someone goes for the deal. Of course, so far, no one has gone for the date. But maybe they will in this next segment. Because we do not have people coming here right now who are looking for a date themselves. No, we have sisters who are looking for a mister. A mister for her sister, Yvette and Cecilia. Come on down. Yvette says her sister, Cecilia, desperately needs to find a man. It's been six years since her last date. 34-year-old Cecilia admits her last serious relationship was in high school. Cecilia? It's been all work and no play, It's Richard. been, what, yeah, really? Yeah, You're so school. cute. You haven't been dating, no? No. Okay, it's been six years? Our okay. priorities are in order. Okay, well, we have Deborah and her sister Donna. Come on down. Deborah says it's been five years since her sister Donna has gone out to even try to find a man. What did you look? Uh, actually, nowhere. Nowhere. You, and, and, and it's been five years? Yes, it has. Well, it's going to come to an end right now, possibly for you, if you get that date. And Sherry and her sister, Terry. Sherry says her sister, Terry, has been in so many bad relationships, she's afraid to go out on a date. They've all been bad. Yes. They've all good. been bad. All so good. don't let that scare you away from a date and, and take the deal because maybe nobody here has taken a date yet. You guys, it's been so long, maybe you should take one of these three handsome debonair bachelors. Bachelor number one is 33-year-old Doug. He's a commanding officer of a police department. He hasn't had a serious relationship in over a year, but he is seriously looking for one. Bachelor number two is 25-year-old Paul, a personal trainer for the last two years. And bachelor number three is Stan, a 25-year-old musician who can't seem to hit the right note with a woman. All right. But first, we're going to play a little game because if you can answer this question, you will have the first choice. Lovely Dawn, please come on down here and help me. Remember, there's only a limited number of time, limited wow. amount of time that you have to answer this question. Yes, the question is this. Lorena Bobbitt. Remember Lorena Bobbitt? Oh, no, wait, you're laughing. You're laughing, but she has passed away. How did she die? Oh, I'm sorry, the time is up. How did she die? She was in a car accident. Some weenie cut her off. <laughs> a sad, sad story that we're about to turn into a happy one. Nobody answered that question, so I'm going to give you a chance. I, actually, I'm going to give your sister a chance to pick the bachelor for you. Which one? One, two, or three? I want to have number two. Number two for your sister. Why'd you pick him? I think he's sexy, though. All right. <laughs> who would you pick for your sister? Um, number three. Number three. And who would you pick for your sister? Number one. No, no, it's for you. Go. No, you want her sorry. to pick him? Number one. Number one. He would make you happy, huh? All right. Maybe. All right, crank up those jack-in-the-boxes as before. One of them is a bay-in-the-box. Two. That's yours. All right. Come on up. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you later on in the show. But this man really... Oh, I think we may have made a date here. Yummy. I think we may have finally made a date. Come. You like this guy, huh? Yeah? He's nice, huh? You also have a nice date. J.E., tell them where they're going on their date. The two of you will be off to a night of laughs at Rascal's Comedy Club. Rascal's is the best combination of great food and great laughs. Ho -ho. All right, a great date, a great man, true love possibly, but there are lots of great prizes up here on the stage. Will you trade this gorgeous looking hunk in? 
for a box. What do you think? Deal or date? Deal or date? Deal. Deal. Sorry. Once again, she picks the deal. Which box would you pick? Some of them are chosen. Look around. Look around you because some of them have already been opened. Which box seems lucky to you? Remember, we're still looking for that Bahamas vacation. It could be out here. There could be a health club membership. It could be a telescope. It could be uh, a, a, a getaway weekend, two getaway weekends. Which box are you going to pick? My daughter Renelle is seven. She just turned seven. Time to go with box number seven. Box number seven. All right, box number seven it is. All right, that's a lucky number for most people. Please stand by that microphone over there as I open this up. Oh. Oh. Hmm. It's a towel. Now remember, I think it looks gorgeous on you. I, you know, it could mean that there's nothing else in there and you're going to have to throw in the towel. It could mean that you want a health club membership and you're going to take a shower afterwards using this towel. It could mean that you'll be lying on the beach on that towel. It could mean... Hold on, hold on. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's other things here. Maybe you don't want that. I don't know. You know, wait a second, wait a second. There's something behind this curtain. There is something behind that door. Huh? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. You want the box? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want the box? I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. For the first time, I'm going to give you a chance to pick another box. But you can only keep one box. You can pick another box. You can pick another box. I'll show you what's inside. A bit of what's inside. And then you can make your choice, okay? Pick another box. What other box? I'm going to stay with seven. You're going to stay with seven. All right. Hold on, folks. She can't be convinced to give up this box. Well, do you want to throw in that towel or keep it? Because you've won a getaway weekend at the luxurious Novotel Hotel. Just promise you won't take the towel as a souvenir. It's a getaway weekend for you. And maybe you can take that charming young man, huh? Yes. Maybe you can, but somebody in our audience has a chance right now, has a chance to win what's in my pocket. If they pick the right pocket, there could be another hundred dollars in there. Could be lots of different things. What do I want to see out here? I want to see, I want to see us go to break when we come back. Somebody in this audience will pick my pocket. Stay with us. Everybody in this audience today could possibly be lucky, but I'm looking for a specific person with a specific talent. Don't ask me why, because I can't even, I can't even understand why I want to see this, but is there anybody in this audience who can touch their nose with their tongue? Huh? Anybody who can do that? If somebody can do that, you'll get to go, you, you, wait, you can do this? Hold on, stand up please. You can do this? <laughs> All right, let's see it, ladies and gentlemen, here it is for the first time on national television. Yes? Oh, no, it's there. I want to feel my nose is wet. I, want, I know, but I want to feel the tip. No, can you do the tip? Can anybody do the tip? Wait a second. Stand up, please. Let's see this. You already won $65 uh, dollar hero sandwich. No, I don't see the tip. Anybody touch the tip of their nose with their tongue? Anybody? Oh, wait a second. No? Nobody can touch the tip? You can do it. Yeah, let's see it. Okay. Right? You did it! There's no reason to panic. <laughs> you doubted me. Stand up, please, sir. I have something in each of my pockets. No, 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 you can't. Which one are you going to pick? Yeah? What, you bat behind? I can't put my hands around you. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as your okay. wife is here, it's all right. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, what are you going to pick? I'll pick this one. You'll pick this one? Yeah. You're sure now? Yeah. Okay. 
You're, you're positive. Right. This is yeah. This is the one you want. Yeah. I'll give you what's in here if you can take it out with your tongue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you've won fifty dollars. Yeah. But hold on, hold on. Come here, come here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Pick a box. We we have fifty dollars here. Box? What? Can you pick a box? Can I pick a box? I have fifty dollars here. You can keep okay. this fifty dollars, okay. or you can pick a box. I'll pick a box. Which box? What number? Pick a number. Thirteen. 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 All right, a contrarian, a contrarian, here picks thirteen. Usually an unlucky number. Let's see what's in this box. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh, don't look! No! 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 no. Something in this box. Let's see. Is guaranteed to heat you up. It is. Oh wait a second. I've got these. This is a fire lighter, way to start fires. Uh, that's that's nice, isn't it? You're gonna be burning everything up. Anything else in here for you? Um, right? I'll tell you what. This is a there's something really hot in here. Um, do you want what's in this box, or do you want to? I'll stick with it. Yeah. I'll wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Oh, hold on, audience. I'm gonna give you one last chance. You can take your fifty dollars back. Fifty dollars back, or what's in the box? Box. The box. box. All right. Box. Well. You've won a perfect gift for your wife. Undercover wears long red peignoir set in their exclusive luxurious silk and satin fabric. They've included a pair of red slippers. Look at this beautiful lingerie. Come on, let's bring your wife up here. And it's yours for you and your lovely wife. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Given away a $65 hero sandwich, a, a remote control car, some lingerie. You're happy? Yeah. Hold your tongue, sir. Hold your tongue. Yes, okay. Uh, but in this segment, perhaps someone will win that fabulous trip to the Bahamas worth $1,600. We have young ladies who have brought their mothers here today because their mothers need a date. The mothers are lonely, have not had a date in years. Debbie, come on down with your mom, Nancy. Deborah's, Debbie desperately wants to find... Her mom, Nancy, a new man. She's been married three times. And Dibby wants her mom's long overdue new man to be a wonderful one. Rebecca, bring your mom Mary down here. Mary's first husband has passed away. And the second man in her life left her with a baby. Rebecca says her mom Mary is a hardworking waitress who de deserves to have a new man. Melody, let's meet your mom Nancy. Melody says her mom has had the worst luck in her love life and deserves a date. Well, okay, all of these ladies are worthy, all of these ladies are needy, but only one of them will have the chance to select a date. Let's bring out our bachelors. Bachelor number one, 54-year-old Preston, has worked as an importer and an exporter of cars. Bachelor number two is 41-year-old Ray, who has worked in the aviation industry, but has never had time to land a wife. And just in case mom likes her men younger, bachelor number three is 25-year-old Frank. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to go straight away and pick one, two, or three. What is it going to be? Two. Two. Okay, yes? One. One. Okay, and for your mom? One. No, you can't pick the same one. Oh. You're left with two and three. A oh, one is left over, right? What do we have? What did you pick? Three. Three? three. One. Three and one, two is what you have. Okay. okay. Let's crank. You want two? I picked two. All right. You have two. You have? I have one. You have one. And you have three. Three. All right. Our queen is Shannon. How come this never happens on The Price is Right? All right, let's crank up those Jack in the Boxes. One of them is a Bay in the Box. That Bay in the Box. Oh, it's number one. Who went number one? You did. So come on up, the two of you. You're going to get to play 
or have a wonderful date. It's been a long time. How long has it been since you had a wonderful date? Uh, two years on May 10th. Two years on May 10th since you've had a date. Well, this is a handsome, distinguished looking man, and the two of you will be going on this date. Tell them where, J.E. You and your date will be stepping back 1,000 years in time as you feast on a hearty four-course medieval meal and are entertained by a variety of medieval games. All of this made possible at Medieval Times. All right, Medieval Times. Great evening. Very romantic, distinguished-looking man. Don't come between your, your mother and her new date here. Put your arms around her, sir, and snuggle up a little bit because I want her to know how wonderful that night is going to be. Is it going to be wonderful enough, though, to keep you from picking one of the boxes on our stage? Would you go for the deal or the date? What do the you say? Date. The, date. the date. You're going to take the date. All right. Finally, you take the date. <coughs> Fabulous. I'm glad somebody finally found love up here. There are so many boxes left. And there are people in our studio's audience who came here today to get lucky. Well, maybe some of them will when we come back. Hold on for one second. Who wants box number 22? We'll give it to somebody. Put it on your lap. Don't open it up. Who wants box number nine? Don't open it up. right there all right we're gonna take a break there are more boxes up here more to be given out stay with us we'll be right back During the break here, yes, you, you do work hard here. I do work hard. Yes, you were you so do. nice, yeah. and you were so nice that you come with me. You were so nice that to, to say that during the break of the show, you step right up here and let's see. Let's see. I'm going to give you a box. I'm going to give you something up here. Let's see. What, what, which box would you like? I'll tell you what. I'm going to put a bunch of boxes up there. I'm going to put a bunch of boxes up there and we will move them around. Those two people who I gave boxes to in the last segment, you come up here too. You didn't open those boxes yet, come on. Step on up here with the box. All right, step on up, come on up, or we'll take the boxes away. All right. All right. Now, do you want the box? Do you want to keep the box that you have? Yes, I'll keep it. Which one was yours? Number nine. This one, number nine. Okay, now, step right over there. Step right over there at the microphone, the two of you. Let's see what's in number nine for a moment here. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. What is this? It's a, uh, it's a top. It's a top. Well, maybe you're going to be on top of the world, and uh, maybe not. Now, this was yours. Do you want to trade this? Do you want to keep it? Okay, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, my, oh, my. Uh, a a, a heart-shaped box of candy. Oh, this could be sweet. It could mean that you're going to be sitting on the beach and, 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 and eating that candy. Now, ma'am, 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 <coughs> I'm going to ask you this. You have two boxes left up here. Which one do you want? Well, here, stand right back there. Stand right back there and I'll tell you what's inside. This has got a fan in it. Now, maybe that could mean that you're a big fan of the Richard Bay Show, and we'll give you a Richard Bay Show sweatshirt. Over here, what do we have in here? In here, we have uh, nothing. I can't hold up anything that's in here. Which one would you like to take, ma'am? The fan? The nothing? What? Gonna, what do you say? I'm going to take the uh, fan. You're going to take the fan? You're gonna, because you're a fan? I love fans. I'm, I'm your fan. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So sweet. So sweet, this woman. Come here. <laughs> she said she took the fan because she's a big fan of mine and the Richard Bay Show. Oh, heck. Number nine, you can buy lots of top-of-the-line items with your $100 gift certificate to Topps Appliance Store. You got that. Number 22, you've won the Heartbreak Handbook. There you go, in case you have some heartbreak. 
Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to trade this in for a hundred dollars that I have in my pocket. Do you want to take it? Do you want to take the hundred? Are you sure? I'm going to give you a little time to. Th you sure now? No, no. Are you sure? Are you very sure? Are you very sure you're going for the hundred? Are you very sure? Come on, are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, well, I don't know. I think you should take the box. Okay, I'll take it. You will? Oh, boy, can I do this to you? I'm sorry, I don't want to break your heart. Oh, man, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. You're going to win a trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> Congratulations, an all-inclusive vacation because you're a fan and because you trust in me. Did I treat you right? Yes, yes. You're off to breezes in the Bahamas, all meals, activities, drinks, and anything else you can mention. A prize package worth $1,600. Overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. We're going to be right back. Stay with us. Yeah. The deal or the date? Ethel Carre, you're glad you came here today, huh? I am. Oh, from all of us here to all of you out there, but especially to you, Ethel. As always, this is Richard Bay. All my best. Take care. <laughs>